Behind this menacing little smile is a being of pure evil. So let's see what kind of weird stuff we can get up to today. We roll to the right, we collect stars, we hop when we need to. Oh, a puzzle game. Don't worry, I think I know how to solve this one. We got our stars. Moving along, we can hop over the bridge. Okay, the puzzles are starting to get harder already, but I'm pretty sure I can just move this over here and get a nice little hop. Don't worry, I see the answer for this. When we hop here, we hop here. Now I want to find someone to jump on. Collecting every little star along the way. Alright, this one's going to be a bit of a momentum game. But that's easy, we just hop here and then we hop way up there. And then we're good to go. Oh, an enemy. Can we kill him? Come here. Let, Let me, me smash, smash him. him. Got him. Look how happy we get when we murder something. So that's definitely going to be part of my strategy now, to murder everything I see. Just because I can. Oh, we stuck? Nope, we're good. Oh, we get to play with sticks though too. Can balls swim? What happens if we go in here? Nope. I've always wanted to show you guys a game that's just about a ball rolling around, and now is my opportunity. He's so happy every time he does that. I assume this has to go somewhere. Luckily I have a ball for the job. Okay, maybe that's not going to go anywhere. But we can probably hop right over with a little momentum. And okay. So maybe we need to push it up the hill and let it roll down by itself. I would um, say that was all me, but there's really only one option at that point. You can't push it one direction, push it the other direction. Oh, this looks like a jump. And we got the star. Got him. As simple as this game is, I'm actually really enjoying this. But that might also be because I have a simple mind. Now I know there's a star up there. Yeah, okay, here's how we get that. We jump here, we jump here. Then we take a big running jump and then we land on idiot. I'm really mostly just here for the homicide. They all need to die. Oh, it's going to get physics-y too. I... Definitely have a degree in physics, so I'm gonna do well with this. Gonna use this to crush him? He had so much heavier. Coming through. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there we go. Got him. I like the way he sounds when he pops. Rolling straight into the next level. Big jump. Okay, I feel like they're giving away the stars on this one. It was a cool jump and all, but we don't deserve that kind of star power. Alright, well, you're gonna get pushed into the water and drown. And then crushed. No, never mind. Does that count as a homicide? I don't really know. This one's a bit of a timed uh, jump though, but it's well within my capabilities, probably along with this one. I'm getting way too confident too quickly, but to be fair, I think it is a children's game. Oh, we got an aggressive guy. Nice armor, stupid. How'd that work out for you? This one's actually going to be a little bit annoying because I'm going to have to jump carefully. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought. What do you think we're supposed to do with this? Are we supposed to bring it over here? I think we might have done that wrong. I might also be able to make that jump. We cannot make that jump. Great. Try with a little more speed. Oh, we did actually make that. I didn't think that was going to work, to be honest. And we're going for a ride. We don't really have a choice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I splattered that guy by accident, so that's fun. But what I really wanted was to get up there to get that star. So if we could bring that back. There we go. And I think I got to put this probably on top of there anyway, or at least I'm going to. And there we are. Puzzle solved, mission accomplished. On to the next homicide. There he is. Okay, that was a cheap shot. But we'll make sure he gets his. I just realized for the first time that I do actually have something of a health bar. And um, I'm pretty sure on this one we're going to have to tip it like that. Yeah, there we go. Now we're up top. Now we get to crush him. The controls are a little screwy. To my defense, it's a little bit hard to do it this way. Or at least that's... But I'll tell everyone, okay, is that going to collapse? Um, I think I have to go up top probably if I'm seeing that correctly because it's going to be a jump. Don't worry, I've got it from here. Okay, I will almost rolled down into the water because I forgot it's bad again. Oh, I was supposed to use that for that, wasn't I? Well, I've got another idea. We can roll this way and grab it there. Not to worry, I am a professional. Wow, what a hard puzzle. Wasn't sure I was going to be able to solve that one. Hey, stupid, come here for a sec. I want to try something. There he is. Yep, come on. Almost got me. Not. Okay. Oh, he didn't go over the edge. Maybe he can't go over the edge. Um, I feel like there's some kind of puzzle to be solved here. Maybe if I push this all the way down and did that work? That kind of worked. I think that'll hop right on there now. So there we go. And now I think I can actually push this and deliver it over the top. Because the cart's going to come to a stop at the box, isn't it? Yeah, see, there we go. It is a puzzle game after all. Oh, I already forgot how this puzzle worked, so I screwed it up. 
Sadistic red ball to the rescue. Okay, this time I'm not going to die. I'm going to maybe push this beyond the uh, windmill, and then I can ride the windmill to victory. Okay, this time I get it. It definitely auto jumps also when I like touch an edge. So in case you ever see me jump weirdly, that's not actually me doing it. Oh, oh, okay. I feel like we're not supposed to push that over yet now that it's teetering on the edge. Yeah, I feel like we're supposed to use a little bit of this. That's going to go... <laughs> yeah, something like that. He looks a little perturbed. Look at him. He knows he's doomed. Yeah, it's okay. I have confidence in... Oh, I didn't know I could actually jump out of the air like that. I thought I was going to die. Okay, well, that worked out uh, decently well. And then we're going to curb stomp him. He's going to die. Then we just need to figure out how to get up there, which might actually be with the curve on the wall right here. Does that work? Nope, that doesn't work. Uh, I think we needed to bring that crate across because I don't think I can actually do it anymore. Well, good news, Red Ball. You get to die a horrible death. Okay, we gotta kill you. Then I've gotta move this over to there with a little bit of speed, I think, so it clips in both sides. And we bring this across. But before going any further, he needs to die. Also, not really sure what this little piece is, but I'm a little bit curious about it. What do you think that's supposed to do? Does that open something? Is it supposed to launch me? Turns out I could just jump up there the entire time, so I didn't need to waste a bunch of time doing that. Oh, okay, those are tippy. I get it. Okay, we're gonna grab that one. You just gotta land nicely on them. And not sure what's going on here. Oh, that's not great. He doesn't look too bothered by this, though. Okay, not really sure. Oh, okay. He just had to jump nicely, that's all. Level 10. Oh, <laughs> I missed the card. That's not great. Okay, feeling confident this time. Uh, can we get this party started, or is this not allowed to roll anymore? Thank you. So we got that one, and we missed. That's surprisingly hard to do. Got it that time. It wasn't pretty, but we did it. Okay, what does this guy want? You want to go swimming? Yeah, you want to go swimming. You enjoy your stay in the water. Now we'll put the crate there while we happily hop over your watery grave. Oh, that's a horrible crate. How do I... No, as long as we're balanced, we're fine. And he's just going to stay there submerged for a while. So this guy, we're going to make follow us over here. We'll just kill him. Killing him's always easier. And we're going to jump right over him. Oh, we can't leave him alive, though. I just... I left one alive already. Whoops, too far. And that's too many left alive. To be fair, he is drowning slowly, probably, for the rest of his existence. But... We're good. Okay. I almost missed this star in the sky. Jump up there. I still missed it. Um... Okay, we'll probably just manage to time this. I think this is what you're supposed to do anyway. I just did it by accident. Oh, this will be good. This guy's going to die. Both of them. Great. I like how that didn't actually serve a purpose. It was just out there to kill them. Okay, I might have mistimed that. I feel like the platform's come to a rest for way too long down there. I kind of wish I landed on him and killed him, but that's okay. We can move on to uh, the cave dwelling moron. Okay, he doesn't want to come out of his cave. So, oh, okay. Well, I can kill him right here then. Great. Then those two were easy. To Where's this thing going? Get over there. I don't know what you're for, but I feel like I need you. And I'm going to need you for more than that. Okay. So you got to go across quicker. Or maybe more accurately, I've got to stop myself right about here. Yes. Clever. I have been called many things before, but not often clever. Okay. I see. I've got to turn this thing if I want it to move. This is actually scary because these things fling me uh, very easy, like that. Um, so, you know what? I'll just jump from here. Thanks. <laughs> Look at this lone idiot. He's just going to stand there like that when he's literally extremely vulnerable on his head. He's leaving himself completely exposed for me to murder him. If I just ride it right about here... Wrong. Okay, we're going to ride this one nice and tall then. Staying near the top, get a bit of momentum. Okay, we managed to jump to freedom. I've got an idea of something I'm going to try before doing anything. I'm going to grab that. Is this a post? Oh, I might have screwed this up then. I don't know if I can jump back up there. Oh, he's going to come get me. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I want to see if I can roll. This isn't going to work. I wanted to use this basically to catapult myself somewhere over there. But if I can't get this on top of the board, that's not going to work anyways. But I'm kind of curious to see what's going to happen now. They wouldn't put a big rock here for no reason. There's got to be some kind of fun idea with it. Or... Okay. Oh, I think I see where I needed it now. So we've got to push this uh, across the gap. Something like that. Oh, and then we can just crush him with the big rock anyways. All right, murder rock. Full speed ahead. No mercy for that guy. 
Don't crush me though, please. And we get to murder him. And we get to murder him. Oh, well, collecting star. There's a boss. Well, don't worry. I know how to deal with you guys. Uh, not like that though. The hitbox is a little wonky. Oh, he's tired. Can I only hit him when he's tired? Oh, okay. I think he's got a predictable pattern. Basically, don't touch him now. Touch him when he's out of breath, which is now. Oh, he's got a new movement pattern. He's dropping idiots. Kind of near me. Not that intimidating yet. Oh, he didn't do the thing. It spawns me in with his life still gone. They don't make the bosses very challenging. Well, now there's two idiots. But that's not saying much. Like, they're not overly difficult. Oh, armored idiots. Great. Okay, now he's hopping around. He got so tired at the beginning just from, like, being alive. Now he can do all this gymnastics without any issue. Hmm. It's still not too bad. Fairly predictable overall. Gotcha. Ow. Oh, it puts him back to half health. Well, that's fine. Uh, as long as he just gets tired now, I will take this a little more seriously so as to hurt him. Alright, good news. You're about to die. Gotcha. New ball unlocked. What's wrong with my red ball? Um, excuse me? I think I unlocked a new ball. This is still the same red one. It's just in the forest now. This is a new area, not a new ball. But we get to play with logs now. I bet this guy likes logs. Do you like wood? Yeah, he likes wood. And level 1 done. Or level 16, I guess, because they don't restart. We're just in the woods now with giant mushrooms and ferns. Or regular sized stuff because I'm just in fact a tiny little ball. Not sure what the saw blades are doing here. I guess it's like a lumber mill that's built into the ground. They kind of reset the difficulty on these a bit too, because I'm flying through these levels. Not to toot my own horn, but I'm definitely pretty good at red ball. Oh, look at this fun thing. Oh, I thought it was going to spring me backwards. I take back my statement about that being a fun thing. It was really just a mechanism that was necessary. And got him. Ooh, what happens if wood meets a saw blade? Get down there. We need to see what happens. Oh, we're probably supposed to ride on that, actually. Oh, never mind. In hindsight, I probably could have seen that coming, but now we need to time it so that the wood goes beyond the uh, saw blade, and then we jump on it and jump over it. Uh-oh, that might have been too- Oh, no, I didn't mean to second jump. Oh, actually, this might be okay. Okay, go. Quicker. Okay, let me on, though, also. Oh, I had way more time than I thought in the end. You? The game just shot me into him at the start of the level. Man, I'm struggling suddenly. Got it. Okay, we got the checkpoint. That's good. We're gonna get the stars. A pirate? You're confusing square. All right, let's kill you now. Oh, I missed the star. Okay, well, I guess it's time to kill myself because I can't miss any stars. What can I say? I'm a perfectionist at heart. Double jump? Karate kid. Oh, is he a karate guy? Well, he's a dead guy now, whatever the case. These two were a little bit trickier, but uh, nothing that's out of my lofty skill set. So, oh, there's a button up there. I never really saw that. So... Oh, that actually lets us out anyway. This is going to be a fancy jump. Oh, I thought that was going to be a lot harder. I thought that thing would actually tip and stuff. Oh, did I just screw that up again? I've had to murder this red ball more than anything else, just because I keep missing things. Every time I miss something, I have to punish him by drowning him to death. That was a precarious little jump I didn't get to record, but I managed to land on the idiot and we're good to go. Why does this one have a red light? Oh. So I've got to hold it for a sec. Then it'll retract. Luckily it gives you 10 minutes to do it, so that's okay. Um, so we're going to get you out of the way because I feel like we're going to have to push this that way and then over the top. So far I was able to go right over the top. Okay, well, again, not the most complicated a puzzle, but it's the one we had to work with. What does that do? Oh, so we got to jump over the saw and... Um, then we're gonna push that, then jump over the saw again. Then we can jump over the gap. Hopefully. And we're good. Pretty sure these levels will eventually get probably pretty annoyingly hard. But for now, I'm just gonna coast along and enjoy the ride. I struggle in any puzzle ever where you require patience, because I just don't have it. Like this one, for example, is gonna drive me nuts just because of what it is. Not because it's difficult, but... It's also stressful racing against time. I got an achievement for that. Okay, idiot. No one hits me and lives. Get over here. I think you're so special because you're able to jump slightly. Not sure. Oh, I can make that jump. Great. That one actually had me a little bit worried. I wasn't sure what to do. And we're good. Level 24 already. 
Oh, can we turn the saw on on them? Great. Oh, this is... Oh, I didn't realize I could do that. That's so much easier. I should just use the saw on enemies from now on. And a good time was had by all. I'll be taking my stars in. Moving on, dead guys. So, this is going to be annoying. Pretty sure I've got to go something like that. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought. They actually give you way too much time on some of these. Oh, look at this guy. He's enjoying his swing. Got him. And we still have a few more levels to go, I presume, before the boss shows up again. Thank you. That's very helpful. Here's your reward for helping. And hop. And okay, we should look before leaping. Okay, we're going to do this one a little bit smarter. We're going to wait for it to start swinging back. And then try and collect all the nice stars along the way. Not like that, though. I'm a little more in control this time because I kind of understand what it is I'm looking for. Swing star. And then we'll get that one. Then we'll just wait for the thing to swing gracefully back. Okay, stupid is here. Jump. Got it. Now we finish him off without dying. Good to go. Level 27 basically fires you into the saws right away. And there are two of them, so we're definitely escalating in difficulty. Luckily, I am a professional at handling balls. Oh, there's an endless supply of these guys. They just keep coming out of here. Then I kill you, and then you, and then you, and then you. <laughs> this is going to be fun. I could just sit here all day killing these things. Look how happy that makes my guy. Okay, now that I'm finally up top, I've got lots of time to time my jump, and we're good. Okay, you get on there, please, very quick. Then go there, then we go back for the star. This is actually easier than it seems. And I got an achievement for start. That was the whole level? I mean, that's fine. It was just very short. What does this do? Oh, you're one of those timed ones. Stop. Okay, you can go now. So, oh, this is very stressful. Okay, this level is definitely a little bit annoying already because you got to, like, set it up in advance and you can't catch a log. The log just leaves. Wait, am I overthinking this? I will say, so far, this is probably the hardest level I've encountered, though, but I think I've got this under control now. As long as that keeps going, we're going to jump the gap. Yeah, see? That's all it took. That was really annoying to set up, though. But now we have free stars and murder, my favorite combination. Uh, this also doesn't seem like a great deal of fun, but I think I understand how this is going to work. Basically, we touch that, and then we got to jump to that. Then we got to go way out there to that, and we're good. This is a long, difficult level. But he's going to die, and we're up top. Thanks, box. Yeah, we use him as a stepping stone. Boss time. Oh, it's a big karate idiot who gets tired from jumping up and down, but there's also a saw blade to deal with. So far, it's mostly just me jumping over the saw blade. He kind of jumps around once in a while. But so far, I'm not too intimidated because he mostly tires himself out. Then we jump over a saw blade. Or two of them. That makes it a little more interesting. I'm still not feeling overly worried. I feel like he's about to get tired out. We'll jump on his undercarriage. You know, he would really be more difficult to fight if he had like an unpredictable strategy, but he pretty much has the same routine again and again. I know exactly what he's about to do. Okay, he only gets tired for a second, uh, and then he kills me apparently. Is he about to get tired though? I never know when he's going to get tired. This is so confusing. But I assume right now, got him. Then I get hit though every time he does that. But I think one more hit and he'll be done. I'm just not entirely sure. I guess because we're at a different stage of the fight technically. There you go, big guy. Yeah, look how happy we are for murdering him. That place looks miserable, so we're going to get that next time. But I had a lot of fun murdering everything in this creepy dark game.